Hey guys, Radio Garage back on the bench. Just want to show you guys a quick little uh, trick here, uh, doing a little tip and trick session. So, uh, say you have a frequency counter and you're worried about, you know, putting too much uh, overload in the circuit or, or blowing it up, uh, transmitting into it, something like that. Um, just want to show you guys a quick tip if uh, you want to check your frequency on your radio and you have a coax um, antenna switch um, and you're not using one of the ports what you can do is um, just run your radio you know just like how I have this into the antenna uh, coax switch like you normally would you have your um, for your antenna now the port next to it one or the other run a uh, a BNC, I just have a coax adapter, a coax to, uh, 259 to, to BNC um, adapter. Run your, run that right into your frequency counter. But don't, see, don't turn it on to that one. Just put it on the one next to it. There's enough RF, um, stray RF, that's going to leak into here. And you're going to get yourself a, a readout. Perfectly safe. I'm going to transmit right into it. Okay. Here's the radio. I'm going to transmit right into it and it's going to show up on here. So, here we go. I'm keying it up. 27205. Okay. You see what I'm doing? Keying the radio right into it. And we're not having a problem. 27205. There you go. Channel 20. So, a eh, quick little way if you know. A lot of guys already have these switches laying around. A lot of guys have BNC cables laying around. Uh, you don't want to open up the radio, check the frequency. There you go. So, hope you guys uh, enjoyed it. Hope to help somebody out. Like, subscribe, uh, leave me a comment. Thanks, guys. Radio Garage. We're off the key.